young man. There's no need to feel down. I said, young man, get yourself off the ground. You sound just like a boomer. <laughs> <laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid directions. Today, it's up, Corbin. I'm not a boomer. You're basically a boomer. No. And follow us on Instagram and Twitter for juicy content. Follow us so on Patreon. Follow us for the cat ring the bell button in case squad. My parents are the boomers. Follow us on boom. a personal YouTube channel. Links in the description below. Such a boob. You're a boob. Your mom's boob. What? My mom? Yeah. Your mom's so dumb. She studied for her blood test. Cool. Anyways. <laughs> today. What are we doing, Rick? Um, today we're going to be knitting a sweater. Oh. Interesting. With uh, our tongues. So this is called Joy to Sh the World. The Lord has come. Shakati. Joy Shakti? I think it's just joy and then dash and then shakti. Oh, shakti. Yeah. Read this. A song called Joy by the band Shakti. Oh, I should have done it. But I wanted so bad to do that too. Uh, founded by virtuoso guitarist John McLaughlin. Yeah. Who we know Zakir yeah. Hussain has worked with a lot. Yeah. And 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 Ustadi Zakir Hussain. Along with Viku, Bunny Akaram, and Gatam, Carnatic Percussion. Uh, El Shankar... Oh man, on violin, one of the most joyful blending of musical styles and expressions from four masters. Yeah, John McLaughlin is a legendary guitarist. Uh, I could probably play better than him. You sure can't talk better than him. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. It's 1976. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be good. sit in on something like this with this Daji Zakir Hussain. I mean, been in an atmosphere. He's done this with musicians. Here we go.
Ross standing up. Whew. <laughs> Uh, that was like when the first time we watched Zaki Hussein. Which That's was exactly like, what it reminded me of. Which was horse running. Horse running. That's uh, exactly running what that reminded me of. The 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 level of shock. <laughs> Obviously, Zaki Hussein shocks me every single time I see him. That he can move his fingers that fast and make that yeah. such a beautiful sound, right? But it wasn't just him. Oh, it was all. It was all four of them. It was all four. That I, I know it's not called a pot, but the guy that was playing the pot. Okay, it was insane. Have you ever beat on an instrument like that it before? It looks like it hurts. It freaking kills. If you if you bang on it, mm -hmm. within sixty seconds, your fingers start to ache. If you're hitting with a level of you know you're actually trying to hit it. Yeah. I don't know how, I mean, it's years, it's thousands and thousands and thousands of hours of repetitive practice. I mean, I'd love to look at his hands. Oh, I'm sure because he's obviously, he's probably doing it since he was a child, oh, so they're callous to the... Yeah, and knowing the different regions where you can hit to make the different sounds. Yeah, but that the, guy was insane. That thing hurt, okay. Then, Any of you who play guitar, simply listen to this, hold the pick, Try to go at the speed on one string that McLaughlin's on right there. Just try. Just and uh, try to keep the, the pick in your hand and not break a string, and just stay on one of the six strings on your guitar. That's all he's doing is just going. But what he's doing is he's doing that. First of all, he's not. He never. He didn't break his pick. He didn't break a string. So that means he's not doing it too hard as he's doing it, and his wrist and forearms aren't cramping at that speed. So he's got it going on like that, but he's got six strings that he has to go in between when he's deciding he's gonna make a different sound at different points on the neck. And the, I just can't even fathom picking one guitar string at that speed for that long, let alone doing what he just did. Same thing with the freaking violin player. Yeah, he was insane. Not one of the little tiny strings on the bow came off. You know, yeah. you've seen violin players and it comes off and it's hairy hanging all over the place. And how... Uh, I don't understand how, like, because I'm assuming that was all improvised. I, yes, but I think they were ragas. I think they knew oh, okay. the forms so they were how, in. That's how they can tell right. and keep what that other person needs for their... They were in their patterns that they knew were coming. It doesn't make any sense how, like... They're all going so fast I know. and doing some, how can this person and this person's improvising be on the same thing as this person improvising? And what's astonishing is the level of musicianship is so high that they probably, I, I don't know how much they rehearsed. Yeah. They're, they're just that skilled at what they do. And, and there's something about, there literally comes with that level of excellence in the music. There's like this ecstatic, uh, can't breathe yeah. sense of I mean it doesn't really happen in any other thing except a sporting event yeah. like when you're in the final moments of the game it's that's the exact level of oh. <laughs> it's incredible yeah it's just incredible absolutely insane I don't <sighs> every single time anything was obviously secure saying but obviously when you have three other legends yeah, uh, around them. It's, that was insane. Um, and I hope people have, like this, <laughs> this video I could tell, <sighs> maybe it's just because of the title, people don't know it, that these other legends are in it, but like it only has 400,000 views. And it's been up for five years? Yes. Yeah, no. Like, and no, that, well, that, like the fact that we can see this, this piece of history from 1970 something, like, it should have millions and millions and millions of views. It should. But that speaks to a larger reality that is a sad one. It's, it's, it's the fact that things of innate beauty and hard work and transcendence are seldom appreciated by the populace because the populace has an intelligence quotient that has been brought down to a place. It wasn't always that way. It wasn't always that way. The appreciation for the finer things in life used to have a level of appreciation. Uh, Pat Metheny, yeah. 
apparently he said, this was a quote in the comments, McLaughlin has changed the evolution of the guitar at least three times. Yeah, he's... Why have I never heard his name in contention with the best guitars? I don't know, because I... I've heard his name. You have. In circles of guitar. Yeah, that's why I knew when I saw McLaughlin. Is it because he never played in a band? Yeah, I, because probably because McLaughlin didn't have commercial notoriety in the Success. way of like a Clapton. Yeah. Or a Hendrix. He never played for like a band band, right? Well, I don't know his history. Yeah. All I, all I know is in the echelons of the greatest guitar players of all time mm. who weren't just good but contributed to transformation of guitar. So, in, especially in the realm of rock. Um, it's it's McLaughlin, it's Hendrix, it's Stevie Ray Vaughan. Mm -hmm. um, those are the immediate Clapton. ones. Clapton came in and changed things. Um, Eddie Van Halen changed yeah. things. Uh, there's three other guys. Uh, yeah, I can, there's a long <coughs> list of them who who changed what was done. Uh, but I know, like example, Caleb Quay is a, a, a friend who is himself a contributor to electric guitar in the world of rock. And McLaughlin would be somebody he'd instantly say, yes, absolutely, McLaughlin's a, one of the greatest guitar players and contributors to the art form. Yeah, maybe it's just because he's never had commercial it's success. It's a commercial level, yeah. Um, Lack of... I'm sure, I'm sure, like, if you're a guitarist, you know who John McLaughlin is. You, yes. Like, if, you're a, if you're, like, a purist, and, like, and you know guitar... Well, I think a great example would be a lot of... Um, People, especially like in India, they, a lot of people I discovered didn't know who Daniel Day-Lewis was. Mm. They sure know who The Rock is. They know who Tom Cruise is because yeah. those guys have the commercial success. Mm. But when you're talking about an absolute game changer in the art form, uh, because they didn't do commercially successful films, they did the artistically notorious films, they're just not as well known amongst everybody. Yeah. That was insane. Absolutely incredible. Uh, just, just incredible. Yeah, if there's more of that, uh, you know, send that our way. Yep. <laughs> Look <laughs> <laughs>